I'm Danny Ching from Hermosa Beach, California. I'm a professional stand-up paddler and a professional outrigger racer. So some of my big accomplishments in stand-up, uh, I've won the uh, Battle of the Paddle, which is the largest stand-up paddle board race in the world, uh, three times. Won a bunch of the Carolina Cup races for stand-up paddling, which is another big one, and the World Championships once. For Outrigger, I'm a two-time Molokai World Champion, and for Dragon Boat, I've been on the US team several times. Uh, we've won a few World Championships in that event too. And earlier in my career, I was uh, Olympic kayak hopeful for sprint kayaks and represented the USA in the Pan American Games in 2007. Uh, being stuck at home under quarantine is actually it's a nice, nice retreat. Uh, normally I am at home, I'm a stay at home dad three days a week, working training around that. But now seven days a week having both kids here all the time and now my wife has been a blessing in disguise. So it's a little tough trying to juggle all of the family stuff along with the training, but uh, my wife is actually my training partner, so it actually makes things a little bit easier. I've been really enjoying that lately and kind of excited not to be rushing off for four races in a row on different continents. <laughs> So initially, this time of the year is the busiest time of the year for us. Um, we had a plan to take the whole family, so we were gonna fly out to North Carolina for the Carolina Cup, which is a stand-up paddleboard race, one of the biggest in the world. And there's also an outrigger race there. And my wife races outrigger canoes very competitively. That would be last weekend, and next weekend, we're supposed to be in Hawaii, racing the Molokai Outrigger World Championships. Um, so we'd be doing essentially nearly 10,000 miles of flying. You know, we're, we're kind of bummed we're missing that, but it's also really nice to not be on the go, go, go all the time. Trying to stay positive in quarantine, um, it's just paying attention to what's around you, enjoying the people that are around you. And then for me, my whole lifestyle and my whole life has been about training and, and being prepared for big events and, and just big things in life. And now that part of my life has slowed down. I'm not over preparing is what I like to call it. So trying to stay positive in quarantine is just recognizing that I don't have to do everything having someone to train with um, really keeps me positive. Luckily for me, my training partner is my wife. So having her home has been wonderful and super tough physically trying to work out. <laughs> it's really hard to get beat up by your wife at home and then have to go train out in the water. But uh, it's, it's been really good and to stay positive, just having someone to motivate you, something to motivate you to you know, wake up early on Monday and go run some hills, go exercise a little bit, find something to do that gets you prepared and you know, leaves me better off for tomorrow. Coaching now as opposed to before the quarantine, um, before one of my specialties in coaching for both outrigger and stand-up has been the hands-on approach. Being able to actually talk with someone, come up, physically move some body parts and do some land drills, which is really, really helpful for creating that feel. It's super incredibly difficult to say something, mean it a certain way, have them hear it, understand it, and then apply it and all I can do is look at their facial features and their body expression and like, hope that they got it. Um, so it's been really tough. I've actually gotten much better at explaining and I've come up with a lot of new creative drills for people to do. It's been good for my ability to coach, just having to learn a little bit more. I believe the quarantine might have been a blessing in disguise to just kind of put the whole race season and put, put the whole industry on pause for a moment. There was a big, big buildup of stand-up when it first came around. There were races everywhere. and I was just noticing how packed the calendar was getting. If you want to race and be competitive over a long distance, it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of preparation. It's a lot of fatigue and breakdown of the body. So having to race every single weekend is just not feasible if you want to perform well. So taking this break, having a bunch of races either come off the schedule or all get moved to the same, same period of time where we can do a proper training program and peak for it, I think it's gonna be really, really good for some of the athletes. Myself training, um, right now, my family and I are in a great place. Um, I have lots and lots of help uh, once we come out of here. The kids are getting big enough to where I can start taking them with me now and get a little resistance training by placing them on the board or in the canoe. I'm 36 right now, and as long as things stay the way they are and I'm allowed to properly prepare, um, keep a nice work-life balance, then I think I'm gonna be around racing, racing for world titles as long as I can. <laughs>